The World Bank estimates Indonesia's economic growth this year will be 5.2 percent, 0.5 below the government target in the 2015 budget. It's also believed growth will increase slightly to 5.5 percent in 2016. World Bank senior economist Indiami Diop has said the prediction is based on a relatively weak commodity prices as well as increased demand for imports as investment and infrastructure spending rises. Indonesia is facing other challenges, such as a 48% decrease in exports to China. The World Bank has recommended the government increase manufacturing exports rather than commodities. We know that, we know that there is a target of 7% growth, but over five years, um, it's uh, really uh, by 2019, if I understand well, that this target is set. Is set. Uh, to be reached by 2019. Uh, so everything is possible because we know Indonesia got potential. So if the reforms, uh, as we mentioned during the panel, are implemented, and in particular, if really the private sector, uh, you know, are, you know, in a position to invest because of good public policies, uh, infrastructure development, closing the skills gap, improving the functioning of markets. Uh, I, I believe that is possible, uh, that is, but it takes really uh, lots of reforms and a focus on implementation and really get really high quality implementation to get there. Uh, for the next uh, two years, what we predict in our forecast is that growth will set around 5.5% in 2016. That's our forecast. Uh, but as we go along, as we observe the government policies implemented, that can be revised. Uh, upward, uh, depending on the quality of the policies.